Good afternoon, everybody. It is Angie at Treasured Vintage. I decided to make a video today and upload it the normal way instead of going live and uh, show you something that I have to ship today. Also, I thought, why not? Let's go through this box. There's me in there. Let's go through this box that uh, I have just uh, sitting around and I forget what's in it. So we'll just go through it and see what's in it. Show you a couple of things that I just acquired that I think are really cool. And uh, yeah, let me show you this. This is gonna be a real challenge. I've had this for a while, uh, but it's so cool. It is a chafing dish. I guess I didn't, I didn't put the dish in there. I, the dish is missing for this for the moment. But there is a Fire King clear glass dish that goes in here. It's in the house right now. But you see how this works? It's a roll top. Roll top. This is going to go to Georgia. And uh, yeah, I have twenty-five dollars to get it there. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. You know I'm used to shipping jewelry, so I have to get this down there safely to Georgia. I'm very excited because I'm on my porch and all the plastic has been taken off and all the screens are, are uh, bare so I can see all around in my wooded backyard and... Uh, I'm just thrilled and it's a nice day today Desi is on my bed <laughs> such as it is <laughs> and she's just she's just taking it easy over here aren't you girl are you having fun you can't even see your little face can you anyway that is what's going on I've got a get that done and get it over to the post office today but let's go let's look at the jewelry for a little while I'll just do that for a little while let me get that mirror out of there so it doesn't so it doesn't show me when I don't want to be shown <laughs> ah sip of coffee so I just sold one of these not long ago, decided to pick up another one. Uh, this is camphor, camphor glass, and uh, it's a silver tone with a sterling silver chain. But uh, I'm hoping it'll do well. It's it's not quite as fancy as the last one I sold, but it is larger. The pendant's a little larger, so I'm hoping that. Uh, it's not as pretty on the back, but uh, I'm hoping it does okay. And this ring I just thought was exceptionally pretty when I saw it. I just thought, I really like it. Um, it is amethyst, marcasite, and uh, sterling silver. It's very, very pretty. I just think... I just think that's really pretty. Can't get a good picture of it. But it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous little ring. And somebody's gonna love that. It's kind of like a leaf. Looks really pretty on the finger too. Not on not so much on my fingers, but <laughs> it's gonna look very, very pretty on somebody's hand. Just the design of it, I just thought was exceptionally pretty. Anyway, got that. And they, those two items will be in my shop soon. Uh, let me show you my... And I kind of forget what's in this box. Because I haven't looked in it for a while. Um, I think mostly down in here is just beads. What not. Uh, up here is my stick pin collection that I have been kind of hoarding stick pins so let's look at those I should take them out of here and put them on this red 
background. So we got that. We got a man in the moon. Got a little. Do you find that stick pins uh, sell best for you in lots? Or let's look over here because that that lighting over there is not the greatest. Uh, do you do you find they sell good in lots? Because I'm thinking of just lotting all these up together. This one I have marked. 120th 12 karat gold filled. It's kind of pretty. It's probably onyx. Probably onyx. Um, this one I think is Florenza, which is a good brand. I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's Florenza. Uh, so that's a good. That's a good brand. So I don't know if that would sell by itself well or not. Nice mother of pearl iridescent um, shell in there. It's a nice one. Some of these are just run of the mill. That's cute. And this cute flower one. There's another pretty flower one. Maybe I should do all the flower ones. Put all the flower ones together maybe. I don't know. Uh, I think they they will probably do best in a lot. This one's a nice one. It's marked something. Actually marked Avon. Um, there's an Avon. I recognize that. There's another flower one. Cameo. A little shell. Another cameo. This one just says stick pin as if we didn't know what it was. <laughs> I know what that is. You don't have to write it on there. There's something. So what do you think this is? That's pretty neat. I've, I've sold earrings like this before. They're very similar. But is that like a watch fob? What is that? It's cute. I might have said something on the back. I think it may have said something, but maybe it's worn off. So, that's neat, but I don't really know what it is, what it's for. There's a little... That's cute. That's a cute one, a little kid. Uh, cross... This is a nice, a nice maple leaf one, enamel. So I have quite a few there. I should just, should just do a lot and get rid of them. I don't know why I'm holding on to them exactly, <laughs> but I just keep piling them in there. Every time I get them, I know where to put them, and they just, they just end up in here. So. Uh, yeah, that's a cute one. Looks like a starfish, maybe. Starfish, pearl, butterfly. Yep. So here's these ones that I got. These big earrings that I got in that lot that I have yet to fix. That I want to fix because I think they're awesome. But I haven't fixed them yet. They're missing the back. They're missing the uh, the clip from the back, and they're signed something. I forget what they're signed. Um, yeah, I can't read that. But they are signed, so they need another. They need a clip, and then they just need to be. This one just needs to be fastened on. Um, there at the top. So there's that. And I have a couple of these, um, a couple of these I could lot together. I don't think they're really big, good sellers, but, or maybe I could just, you know, save them for a big jewelry lot and put them in with that. 
It's got some interesting colors in it, kind of pretty colors. And uh, this, this I got from my friend. I've, I've already sold one of these, but this one has some discoloration to it, so I haven't, I haven't listed it because it's got some discoloration issues, so I didn't list it. I think that's, I think this is the one. Oh, although it looks pretty good right now. I don't know. Anyway, there's a blue necklace. I think it's vermeil. I think it's sterling. Gold over sterling, maybe. Maybe not. And this is a, a shell necklace. Or is it... Uh, yeah, I think it's shell. Shell necklace. Here is a, I think this is a, an anklet maybe? Not sure. This is old. I think this was mine at one time. Anklet. I've always liked this. This necklace. Um, should try to sell that. Some things I, I don't have good descriptors for. I don't have good keywords for. So I kind of just let them lay in the box. <laughs> But there's these like polished stones with what would you call these middle pieces then? I don't know what to call those middle pieces. Gold tone bars? I don't know. But it's a long necklace. Wow, it is long. It's very long. It's a very long necklace. It's kind of neat. Kind of boho y. With the, uh, polished stones. Do you know what those stones are? That's another problem. I'm not very good at identifying stones, so I don't know what those stones are, and I don't exactly know how to identify or to um, what to call the necklace. Good descriptors for the necklace. So therein lies the problem, and there is why it's lying in the box. <laughs> Here's two cute little beetles. What are they? Ladybugs. They're blue. I think I had pictures taken of them one time, but I don't have them anymore. But that's the date of the picture. So they've been around since 2012. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Here's a little chaplet, which I was kind of thinking I didn't have any more of those, but apparently there is one. Um, here is a necklace on a rawhide piece of, uh, cord. It's, it's stone, some kind of stone. It's got an owl on it, carved. An interesting piece. What else do we have in here? This is a... Kind of like a porcelain or a glass pendant with green leaf. Mm, already looked at that. I'm looking at my phone instead of looking in the box, so <laughs> trying to see what you guys see. Um, these are, and I thought these would be better than they are, but they don't go for much. Wendell August Forge. Um, I should have had these up at Christmas time. These are limited edition Christmas ornament series. But they don't go for much. Um, cute little ornaments. This one happens to be something else. The Pioneer Story of Metalware. Uh, there's something random. Just some little pillows with ducks on. Oh, I think they're ornaments too. That somebody made little cross stitch hearts. Why that's in there, I'm not sure. <coughs> Just some randomness. Uh, here is a something that I put a label on. What does the label say? Personal Choice 1970s Spoon Cuff. That is a Sarah Coventry piece. 
must be the name of 